week's video is a quick tip on resizing. So sometimes you may have a file that has various shapes in it, or you may buy a file off the internet that, can, that contains various shapes, and you may want to increase or decrease the size, but obviously keep the file all in proportion. So just to give you a quick idea of how you can do this, I've just got three random shapes that I've put on this mat um, that I've just taken from the basic shapes, but this same principle will work with you know any existing cutting file that you own or that you may buy in the future. So the first thing you have to do, if you want to adjust the size of all the items together in proportion, you have to group them. So if you just drag an imaginary box around all your items and then right click and group, they then become one group. Now, there are two ways that you can adjust the size. First of all, I'm just going to create a duplicate and put that off the page. So I'm going to work on these. So with them selected, you come up to this box here, the Show Properties box, and then it brings up this box. Now, you can either, if you make sure that the Maintain Aspect Ratio is ticked, you can either adjust the height or width down or up to suit your needs and the file will adjust in proportion. So if I wanted to make these shapes smaller I could choose to use the width or the height and I could just take the size down until I'm happy with the size that I'm looking for and then that's my resized file and the three shapes will all remain in proportion to the, to the shape and size accordingly, if that makes sense. You can obviously over type, you can highlight and type a figure in if you want to be very specific. Or the other way you can do it, if I move that one out of the way and bring back the original that's still grouped, <coughs> come back to the properties box and this time instead of using the measurements up here, if you come over here there's this little icon here that's got a square with a dotted box and an arrow and a percentage and if you click on that you can now resize your file by percentage again either up or down and if you want to maintain the ratio you just make sure that the aspect ratio remains ticked here so if I want to increase this file by 50% I can just click on this button and go up to 150 say OK and now that's made that file 50% bigger than it was and there's the one that I made smaller. Then you can either rename the file and give it a slightly different name and save it, or you can just download it, cut it, and when you exit out of Scan and Cut Canvas, it will just keep the file as it was originally. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. If you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and that way you'll be kept up to date with anything I post on a regular basis. So hopefully that's helped and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.